Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Friday morning meeting for November the 6th, 2020. We have just finished our first nine weeks of school and you all have done a tremendous job. Thank you to all of your teachers and staff, Patrick Henry. Thanks to the parents and family members who are helping at home. We could not do it without you. You've done a magnificent job. So thank you all very much. Um, this morning, we are going to begin with our welcome uh, and pledge and our VIP. And our very important principal speaker for today is Naima West Bethea. After she's finished, Ms. Price's class has a presentation for us today. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, staff and students of PHSSA. My name is Naima Westwardea. I am a fifth grade student who has attended PHSSA since kindergarten. During that time, I've changed a lot, but still remain confident. When you think of the word confidence, what comes to mind? Well, what comes to mind is me. Confidence is when you are certain about something. Confidence is having assurance in your own abilities and skills. Feeling good about yourself and having control in your life. I have encountered events that made me question my confidence. For example, I was scared to join the talent show four years ago because of the older kids. But I had to have confidence in myself and I did my best. About four months ago, I was scared to get my hair cut at the barber shop because I thought I wouldn't look good. So I told myself that I could do it, could do this, and that I would look good. I got a cut, and after I felt great. Confidence makes people feel good about themselves, and when you feel good, you do good. It's important to have confidence in yourself because you can help each can help others build theirs. If someone didn't have confidence, how can they make friends or do something new? My friend was scared to join soccer when we signed up at our soccer camp, at our summer camp. So I helped her build up her confidence and now she plays soccer there every year like a pro. Confidence can make you or a friend feel happy and proud of yourself. Before I go, I would like to leave everyone with a daily quote. Why fit in when you were born to stand out? Thank you for listening to my speech and have a nice Friday. Good morning, Patrick Henry. This morning, my fifth grade social studies class would like to tell you about the three branches of government. Hi, my name is Jason and I will be talking about the legislative branch. The legislative branch is one of the three branches of government. It writes the laws and it is also called Congress. Congress has two main parts called the Senate and the House of Representatives. Hello, my name is Makai Johnson. I am a House Representative of North Carolina and I create laws. Here's three facts about North Carolina. The population is 10.5 million people. North Carolina is the 28th richest state in the United States of America. North Carolina is the largest producer of sweet potatoes. And here is the flag of North Carolina. Howdy y'all, my name is Myra Meredith and I am a representative from Texas. Yeehaw! Hi, my name is Jason Pena and I am a representative of Washington State. Hi, my name is Alyssa James and I'm a senator of Nebraska. I work in a branch called Legislative Branch. Have a wonderful Friday. Goodbye. Hi, I am Trip Rain, senator of Colorado. Colorado has a wide range landscape of desert river canyons and snow-covered Rocky Mountains, making it a totally cool place to visit with lots of outdoor exploring to do. Population is about 5,759 million. The state capital is Denver, and the 13th step of the Cape State Capitol building in Denver is exactly one mile high. 
above sea level. Our state ratified on August 1st, 1876. Colorado is the only state in history to turn down the Olympics. The, when offered the 1976 Olympics, the state voted no because they were worried about the, popu the pollution and population boom that, would be, that could be caused by the event. You could be in Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah all at the same time because of Colorado's southwest corner borders are Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah. This is the only place in America where the corners of four states meet. Thank you for your time. My name is Michaela and I am a state senator representing the state of Indiana. Hello, my name is Rian. I am a senator of Maryland. It's a lot of hard work to be a senator because you have to argue with other states about laws. This is the flag. It's pretty cool. This is the map of Maryland. And I know why it's like this. It's because of the water. There's loads of water surrounding this. This is the state seal right here. I cannot draw. So, um, that's it. Um, hello, this is my face. Um, bye. Hello, I am here to teach you about the judicial branch, which is all the courts in the United States of America. The highest court being the Supreme Court. Something that, that the judicial branch can do, which is very interesting, is that they can remove or invalidate laws and bills that have been passed by the president. <clears throat> you may have heard that in class, we have made our own government system. And in class, we have made, we have invalidated a bill that was passed by our president. The reason why we did this is because that bill would have taken away precious time that our teachers would, could use to teach us. Now, please meet our other judges. Hello, me again. I would like to introduce myself. My name is Jean Xavier Lavalle, and I am our class's Supreme Court Chief Justice. Hi, I am Canon Fabian, and I am Supreme Court Justice. My name is River. I'm a Supreme Court Justice. Hello, I'm Sebastian. I'm a Supreme Court Judge. Hello, my name is Simi and I see and I'm a member of the Supreme Court. Hi, my name is Deshaun Chisholm and I'm a member of the Supreme Court of Justice. Hi, my name is Oriana Lynch and I serve as a Justice on the Supreme Court. Ladies and gentlemen, our President. Hi, I am Gianna Crawford and I am the President of the United States of America and I am a part of the executive branch. As the President, I can sign bills and laws, assign a new judge to the Supreme Court, and speak with foreign dignitaries in other countries. Now I will present your Vice President, Caitlin Battle. Hi. I am your Vice President, Caitlin Battle. Hi everyone, I am Kate Fabian. I was diagnosed with Kiari this year, and pretty much my brain was being squeezed to death and falling out my head. I had to have brain surgery on October 15th, and I wanted to thank all of you for being there every step of the way. I am enough. No matter what I was going through, I knew I was with it. I get better every single day. Even when the days are rough, you all help me become a better, stronger person. I am an amazing person. My kindness I gave to the world gave it right back when I needed it the most. All of my problems have solutions. Even if it was for brain surgery, you all helped me be me be, be brave. Today, I am a leader. Because of all of you, I am Kiyari Warrior, and I can wear my crown for all Kiyari Warriors in the world. Thank you, 
to all my Patrick Chan family. I love you all for helping me through this journey of QR. Remember to raise awareness for kids like me. Bye! Thank you all for your wonderful presentations. You did a fantastic job as usual. Ms. Price and Naima, very, very well done. Now it's on to kachas. These are the kachas from the teachers and staff who sent them in this week. Miss Dryling in first grade would like to catch Milan for helping her sister with technology issues. Adele for always having her materials ready and following along with all directions. Good job. Marita, Marita for offering kind suggestions to her classmates for how to solve a technology problem and Gerald for always having a cheery disposition and a positive attitude even when something is difficult. And that's hard to do, but you are doing it and I'm so proud of all of you. Thank you, Miss Dryling's class. You're doing a great job. These are from Miss Price and she has a lot this week. Olivia Harris for always showing Miss Price another way to do a writing assignment that would allow her to do edits directly on their rough draft. Zavi is showing good leadership skills in his role of Chief Justice. He listens intently, is firm, but fair. This makes it easy for all the judges to agree amiably. amiably. Jalise Melson, Jason Pena, Elliot Smith, Everett Gore, Corey, Edison Michael, Kanan Fabian, Trip Rain, Aiden Henry, Sierra Durrett, Oliver Coffey, and Ramaya Johnson. These students are consistently following the virtual class rules. They are on time, their cameras are on, their mics are muted until told to unmute. Active participants, that is so important that you all are taking an active role in your education and in being a model um, classmate. So thank you all for doing everything you're supposed to be doing. You guys are to be congratulated. Sophia Farina has been a class cheerleader. She is always encouraging her classmates not to give up. She pushes them by saying, you can do it. You did a great job. That's awesome. She is a great support to her friends. Thank you, Sophia. Oakley Joe Lamberta, while working on an in-class assignment last week, became so frustrated and he said, I can't do this. Ms. Price explained to him that can't is a word that does not apply to our abilities. I told him he can do anything because greatness is inside of him. He calmed down and decided to give it another try and he was successful. He is discovering this year that he really can do more than believes he can. Great job, Oakley Joe. We're so proud of you. Sydney Jones is new to our PHSSA family. Her year did start successfully and she has faced lots of bumps and hurdles along the way. After working with her and her mom on the technical hurdles and her self-recognition of what it takes to be successful, Sydney has turned it around and is a beautiful shining star in the fifth grade. She's always on time, camera on, and actively participating. She sometimes volunteers as the chat room monitor, which is very helpful while Mrs. Price teaches. She is so proud of Sydney, and Sydney, so am I, and so is your PHSSA family. We're so glad you're here this year. Ashaya Saluki has been showing such grace, grace and patience with the technical challenges she faces because of the iPad. She hasn't complained or given up. She has become quite resourceful in being able to do her assignments, which are always turned in on time. Ashaya, wonderful. And to all of you students who were caught in Ms. Price's class, fifth grade, you all are amazing. Thank you for the great, great job that you're, you're doing. This Katja is from a parent, and she just wants to catch the fourth grade team. Um, it has been great to hear Miss Schwartz trying to get her Virginia Studies class into the presidential election. She has tried hard to teach her class about the importance of voting and explaining the voting process, especially in the days that have followed the election. Mr. Schwartz is always trying his best to keep his students smiling during math class. That's important. Smile through the math. Miss Stark for working hard to encourage the love of literature while her students are stuck at home. Thank you to the whole fourth grade team for all of our PH and to all of our PHSSA teachers who are working so hard 
we appreciate you. And this is from the parents. And it's so great to hear those from the parents. So keep them coming. We love that. Thank you. These are from Miss Connolly in second grade. Colby McMorris and Juliana Lyons for actively participating in math small group. Erin Green and Zakai Roberts for working on problem solving and being prepared with their materials every single day this week. Eli Renisi for practicing kindness with himself by exercising and sharing the exercise activities that he does with the class. Cypress Weaver for practicing kindness with the environment and her father by helping him with yard work when she is not busy reading for fun. And to Robbie Robinson for being the first classmate to finish her personal narrative. She is working hard strengthening her writing skills. Thank you, students. You're doing a wonderful job for Miss Connolly, and we appreciate that. These are from Miss Pendleton. Aaliyah Artis. Aaliyah is such a polite and kind student. That is so great to hear. She is always focusing during class. She raises her hand to share and is working hard to grow her brain every day. Solana Mendoza. Solana is a cheerful, kind presence in our class. She follows the rules and comes to class prepared. She participates and raises her hand often. Miles Maida. Miles is doing a great job this year. I love his positive attitude. He is always raising his hand to participate and he shows kindness and patience with all of his classmates. John Dumont. John is a hard worker. He comes to class every day ready to learn. John always remembers to raise his hand when he wants to share or answer a question. Great job, John. Fantastic to all of you students in Ms. Pendleton's class who were recognized this week. So if you didn't get recognized this week, work hard next week and you never know, your teacher might notice something. All right, well, that is all that we have for this week's Friday morning meeting. Thank you for turning, tuning in and um, we are ready to say goodbye, aren't we, Milo? Everyone take care and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.